We got Gal, finally. This is a character that I was so bummed that I had to skip when he first came around. But that's not the case today. 40 tickets, LD and EX. I'm a happy man today. As much as I love you though, Gal, you against the single target, eh. Kuja against the single target, yes. So we're gonna get through this first wave quick, which I advise everyone else does too, because this thing, when you get him to red health, He'll just get to a point where he'll do this all attack, and if you don't kill him, he'll kill you. He'll dispel all of your buffs, cleanse whatever debuffs he has, and just go to town. Look, one shot, done, wipe, you're on the floor. Unless you bring somebody like, say, Edward and put him to sleep, some kind of stun will work out, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go this route. Seems a little crazy to do this this early, but again, Gao single target, not so great. You want him around for multiple targets, so whenever anybody swings at you, Gao hits him back. Now, I'm kind of still learning how to use him. I just kind of figured that it would be a good idea to keep him in his LD stance as much as possible, since his LD counters seem to be a mix of the two counters that he has now. So why do just one when you can do both? That's my logic to it anyway, seemed to make sense. This is not my first run of this either, I don't know what the hell happened. The first video, it stopped like right before the final kill. So I'm like, I, really, I gotta run this whole thing again. Which I didn't mind doing to be honest, I did better this time anyway. Shaved off like, I think like three turns or something. Same strategy. The Warrior of Light is stupidly good here, as he is everywhere, but this stage in particular, they are so HP spammy. So the Warrior of Light LD helps a lot for a stage like this. Bosch could work too, you know, any kind of any kind of tank that prevents incoming damage. Any tank that prevents that's just what tanks do. They prevent incoming damage. So bit of a redundant statement there. You know what I mean, all right? Okay, let's just get this over with. Done, okay, wave two. Weird timing here. So I want to take advantage of this free skill. But Gao is not shielded. It's all right, though. There we go. Nice and protected. He's gonna be so fun to pair with Gladio. I think there's a reason that they're synergy together. Because that's double counter. Whenever anybody gets hit, it's gonna be nice. I mean, it's gonna be Gladio getting hit. That's just what he does. And then he, he gets hit, he hits back. Anyone gets hit, Gao hits back. So Gao Gladio is gonna be really fun. A nice third slot, I imagine, would be somebody like Leon. Think about that. Pretty sadistic. Enemy comes in, hits Gladio, Gladio gets battery because of the elemental absorption, and then Gao and Gladio hit them back. That just sounds evil, and I think I have to do it. I think I gotta max out my Leon just so I can put that team together. This is actually a team that uh, Shrifty and I have been talking about for a while. Just wanting to see it in action, it just looks so fun. But unlike me, he actually has a purple Leon, and I don't. But I might change that when uh, Gladio gets here. We'll see, we'll see. Did the challenge quest too, that went down pretty, pretty easily. I'm sorry, didn't mean to say the word. Okay, I think that joke's starting to die. Okay, I'll, I'll leave it alone with that. It was just, it's only because people were getting reported 
on that group for for the language about it being easy. Like I, I I'm sorry, I can't not make fun of that. Like that's just too ridiculous to just not say anything about. Like, are you kidding me? Ah. That's, that, that's just goofy. That's, you're being a clown, because that's what you're going to do. But anyway, back to the fight. There's really not much to say about this, because... They can't touch us. They hit zeros, and then we hit them back. That's just between Gao and Wall. And then for good measure, we have Kuja just doing Kuja things. This, this really was not a worry with this setup. Now, I was trying to not break their turn back that much. Because the less turns they get means the less counters we get to do. So Gal with delay seems like a like a weird combination that I wouldn't recommend. Okay, one down. Let him swing. Beautiful. First we knock them back. And why waste any time with this? We're here, let's just go in. We brought the nuke, let's use it. We still have two LDs when we're done with this too. So this is gonna just be a wash. I like that they added the game-specific text during a lot of this stuff, during burst sequences and whatnot. Very nostalgic. Good job on that, devs. Didn't really want you to get a uh, turn right there, but that's fine. Okay, Gal, pop that C65. EX is up. Gal's EX is awesome. It hits so hard. That's amazing. I love it. We have our countdown. So it looks like it's 60? No, not 60. It's, I think it's under 50. Is when they put that up. Let's see here. Yeah, because that one's at 44. It's 
so many red numbers, I can't even keep track. Yeah, it's under 50. Just press it, do the damage. The splash it, everybody. Might as well just press landslide at this point. Oh, he did lose a buff though. Maybe that was a mistake. But see, I wanted this. To just keep that coming. Probably didn't even matter. I mean, they're on their way out. Just keep landslide up and get this done. Because they all had turns right in a row. I didn't want to lose the landslide counter. So I sacrificed a buff. Uh, I can't talk. I sacrificed a buff for it. I, I don't think it really mattered. There we go. One down. Did that so he could eat all of this Ultima right here. So close. Okay, 48. Yeah, like I said. Solid. I'll take it. So that's that. Challenge quest is done too. I gotta upload that next. And until then, I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for watching.